welcome back to the last lines noobs and men we're here for another episode of uh pillow talks with sean so uh <laughs> it's where sean goes over all of his body pillows hello well, who have, who have we got today sean <laughs> well we have uh the herder of camels a connoisseur of impact hits and is probably as dusty as the tribemen that ride the camels old mate callan how's it going boss man trade offer <laughs> one tier list i receive more content success very so, good yeah Cat, lock it in eddie lock right. it in. fantastic fantastic <laughs> um yeah thanks for having me guys doing a tier list and review on the serpent horde and far harad so all of harad not just yep. far harad so no, we've uh, got the whole the whole gang uh, so, um, everyone in the fucking mm. comments hasn't shut up about the Serpent Horde and we've crumbled <laughs> under the pressure and decided to do it. it. We weren't I'm going still waiting. to do it. We were going to wait still until waiting. people stopped talking about the fucking Serpent Horde. But uh, we Never crumbled. Happened. I'm still waiting for the Wozers tier list. I've been holding out for that one. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this one will get us over the line. Um, no. <laughs> Thanks for having me on, boys. I've been playing the Surf and Horde for on and off for a very long time. In fact, when I was a very small 11-year-old boy, I think it was one of the first box sets I had. Um, and then as the camels became an obscurity, my father purchased a small fortune of them and I helped in that <laughs> endeavour. And I loved going to tournaments with a $5,000 army and rolling impact hits. So here yeah. we are. It's Man, just it's a shame wild. they've come back in the stock. It re- my my uh, investment is not that good. <laughs> yeah. um, inheritance has just yeah. gone out that, the window. Yeah, that was your inheritance. It's gone. Yeah. That's gone, dude. <laughs> we we remortgaged the house for that those former hood kings, but <laughs> I mean, to be uh, fair, you do kind of still have to sell an arm and a leg to get them these days for something that big. That is uh, true. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Well. Oh. But we're starting with a we're starting with the Serpenty Boys themselves first, or as I like to say, Suladan and the rest. Suladan, yeah, yeah, pretty much. I think most people would will, will agree with you there. <laughs> it is, yeah. it is absolutely Suladan and the rest. Um, my army book is not loading up, but that's fine. Nice. It's all right. Uh, they're all pretty straightforward. Yeah. I've got mine right here, blokes. Nice, mate. I got mine. You actually went uh, out and bought the book. I respect that. He's still drinking. <laughs> well, no, I haven't been drinking. Um, but I had some beers last night with some work friends, and there's one beer left. And if I, I if see. I leave it there, it'll just you know Sacrilege. no good. So just yeah, get rid of it. No, fair it Hair of the dog, mate. Yeah, Keep I going. have a migraine, so yes, I am attempting to leave the migraine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> All right. This man is an absolute chad, no doubt about it. Unit. Unit. Mm. All right. Uh, we're not stash. kicking off with a chad, sadly. We're kicking off with the chieftain. Yeah, the chief? Oh, okay. The lowly chieftain. chieftain. He's yeah. all right. D tier. Well, well, actually, um, we, we now have some competitors when it comes to tier list with uh, Into the West are trying to <laughs> claim our fucking crown. So we're swinging in yeah, hard. Richard. But What's going on there, bloke? Yeah, stealing our <laughs> shit. Anyway, they did request that we keep uh, the tier option from the last video, the hole. Uh, oh, true. And I think I we should... enjoy the hole. I think we should oh. make that a oh. reoccurring character. For sure. You so are correct. The hole, that's like the lowest of the low. You never take it. Yeah. Yeah. Um... I, th- I don't I think just... I don't think he belongs there. I'll I'll, be, no. I'll, I'll say he's D tier, um, but I don't think he belongs in the hole. My reasonings for D tier: uh, there is nothing in that profile that I look at and go, I can't get that anywhere else. Yeah, and then I turn the page to the Haradrim King profile and I go, <laughs> much better. Yeah. I'll um, say though, ten, an extra ten king. points and so much yeah. more. You're not. You're paying ten points, but you're actually. He's going to be 15 points more than the Chieftain because the Chieftain comes with the War Spear. Yeah. Whereas correct. you have to buy the War Spear for the, for the King. 
so the main thing you're getting off the king really is a point of will and a point of fight. That and heroic that strength is big. Heroic yeah. strength. <laughs> hey, you! I've found so many corner cases for heroic strength, and he's the perfect hero that you send into Shelob on a really weird angle and you call a heroic strength, and she can't heal you. That's true. That's, that is fun. <laughs> and that is chat behavior. Yeah, That's what no, a king I, would do. <laughs> The thing is, as well, the only time I've ever called a heroic strength is Sheila, which <laughs> fair. Uh, but beyond that, I don't know. I, I feel like I personally, I reckon I'd save a couple of points and go with the chieftain. But um, we'll, we'll, we'll. He, you are correct. There is way better options throughout the whole list. Well, the only way I'll, um, the only reason I'll, and I'll just round this off quickly because we don't have to go over it too much. But there's nothing on him that is amazing where the king for 10 points more is so much better. And after so many games of going, I'll save the 10 points, especially running like all mounted her head, and you run into a guard of the fountain court or a knight of Minas Tirith with Boromir around, yeah. and you go, oh. Oh, no. Oh, hang on. This doesn't yeah. work. Yeah, and no. That, it- that, that jump from four to five is so, so rough. And without, like, the Eastling captain, I know Geordie from Two Towers goes on about him all the time. The reason he works so well now is because he has the fight five behind him. Um, you're not running pikes. He works in his much arm. better, yeah. Mm, you can't true. get that, so you need that fight five. So, yeah, yeah. No, unfortunately, Mr. Chieftain marches everywhere else in the list. Yeah, you're correct. You can get the you horse, you can get the horse, yeah. He's... It's just it's just that he the only thing is that Chieftain comes with the war spear, which is why he's probably not in the hole. Because then it's he is essentially fifteen points cheaper if you're running all yeah. mounted Harad. Yeah, that, that makes but, sense. Yeah, that but, uh, yeah. I I, t- I totally agree. I do. Yeah, I just can't uh, can't look at him uh, because we, there's another profile that does what he wants to do better. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We do have now the weirdest uh, actual model in all of SMG. I fucking love this lad the golden king of abracan is um, just so much fun. Oh, i've the got to clear this shit. up is this tier list like based on competitive play or just pure fucking funniness it's <laughs> whatever look, whatever we want at the time you, oh, whatever, whatever the fuck we're feeling really. you make you make okay. your argument and then we decide okay. from there it's a mixture yeah. of the two He's S tier then because he's yeah. so rich. He <laughs> defies all base rules. He doesn't give a fuck. He's got, he's on a I he's just... a pimp man. He's a pimp. Like look, look at the picture. I can't believe it. He's getting. He was, he was on a palanquin before the fucking emperor did it. Like he was doing the OG oh, yeah. emperor. Fully. He's, he's the same cost as bloody Armder, and he does one tenth of the work. It's just amazing. <laughs> one tenth of the work. <laughs> Well, if he, <laughs> yeah. they could fix yeah. this profile so easily, right? All they would have to do is they go, okay, Golden King of Acrobat, keep him at 130 points, not a problem. Make him fight five. Sweet. He works now. Yeah. And then you make Acrobat Guard and his warband go to strength five. Just something. Oh, yeah. that now would be it's different. fucking Now nuts. it's different. Yeah. Right? But the current <laughs> format is just <laughs> what he's it's, also it's, the weirdest. Like measuring his fucking banner is just the most like infuriating, infuriating thing in all of SMG because it's just like yeah. I, I I could ba- I could go from both bases. I guess is that the way? Is it? I, I like does if I put turn him sideways, it's obviously there's a longer banner. I. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. It's, well, I, I the way my, I would mention, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, actually, that is a funny one. Yeah, because it also with the two bases, it then curves in at one point, so it's got yeah, like yeah. a there's so a you, gap if, here. If, that, if he's if he's straight on, there's people who are like yeah, just what outside they, of his base if it curves like that. So dumb. <laughs> Why would they not have put him on an oval base like Bob? <laughs> Exactly. Why is Bolg on an oval base and he's not? Like, Bolg shouldn't be on an oval base at all, but this motherfucker gets 225 mils. Yeah. Also, build, building him, I built one a few weeks ago, is a fucking nightmare, especially when you've got I the two Abrican lads who need to go on those 25 mil bases. 
and you just want to fucking neck yourself because they just <laughs> it, it's, it's rough. <laughs> But and you'd be able to space out where they go as yeah. well. Oh, and it's make just, it even more funny. <laughs> it's bonkers. And he's a hefty, heavy lad. <laughs> oh, my God. This is so dumb. So, but so, what, what I love about him. Just because he defies the rules so much. <laughs> he's um, just such a broken stupid. model. I, I just but, love uh, that Boromy or Aragon or nearly anyone can walk into him and he just goes... Now you're going to fail your courage check and you're going to run off the board. It's beautiful. His, well, his six will leave. Let's, let's not get it twisted for the people at home. This model is completely useless. And if you want to play this model competitively, <laughs> don't. Yeah, um, don't. <laughs> the only quarter cards I've seen are actually on the Two Tower podcast where someone took the Golden King and then the catapult, the war, uh, mortal war catapult with the seven oh, heads. Upgrade. Seven heads, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's but pretty nice. That that's is nice. such a like you pay 130 points to maybe get rid of a hero. Yeah, it, yeah the, you, hero throw in, you throw in the betrayer, and it's it's a one trick go. pony that may not work. That's essentially that, it. But a hero could blow all of their resources to more or less, unless they roll snake eyes, get away with it. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you're just like, well, to be fair, it's 130 points of your big hero now has no might, no will. This is true, but I would rather have 130 points. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather have 130 points of just grabbing Suladan. <laughs> like, fucking hell. Yeah. <laughs> grabbing Suladan and then a few, like, guys with both. Two extra <laughs> lads. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah look, I, I, I love him. I personally... So do he's I. Got the, it, it's just a dumb place in my heart, so we stay a guest here. He's um, S tier. Yeah. I just wish they'd just gone... I, I know he came from a time where the rules were like not all there. there. No, um, but yeah, I just wish in the new edition and maybe in the future they they kind of rework him to be a little bit more. I I am genuinely relevant. hoping there's going to be a supplement that works around Harad and, and Far Harad and stuff, and hopefully there they will do something with him to spice him up, Is make he- him good because I want to see him on the table more. I want to play cool. Harad with. Yeah, African yeah. Guard and Golden King. Yeah. Thing is, he will munch troops every day of the week, which is oh, it's four nice. attacks of Burley. Yeah, four attacks of Burley. Uh, he, the only the like honestly, the biggest problem with him is just that he's five four. Like, that's, yeah. he, that, that's it. The fight value inflation of our SBG economy is an issue that yeah. Mister Jack to address. Um, <laughs> Sorry, also <laughs> Mister Fucking Bay Awnings. Uh, <laughs> It's just fight, fight for not what it used to be. Like no, I've, it's not at all. I've started playing Easterlings now, and there's You're a lot of games. Elves. I'm playing, yeah, and I, I seriously, I don't know how my brother does it, Jarek, for the viewers at home from um, from Wag. I'm not sure how you play the game because I'm I'm rolling the dice, and my opponent doesn't even pick up dice when I'm, they're hitting the pike wall. Yeah, That's so that, that yeah. fight for it's like oh, I've got an old captain. It's like. Don't no, even bother. Doesn't matter. Oh, he took a wound. How's that? Your yeah, fifty-five yeah. point. So I'm not. I'm not even sure how you address it. It's like the one or two only issues in the rules, the fight values and the heroic move loss. That there's just no way in getting around it because you, you pay points for a stat, and then it comes to a fifty-fifty dice off decision. It just doesn't yeah, ever trend sure. that well. And yeah. a lot of the arid heroes suffer from it. The, the oh. way I'd like to see it done is maybe uh, fight goes to fight 15 or something and you, you rework the fight yeah, that just way. The it other just thing gives as well, us a little like, bit of extra... The, yeah, trade-off is always, the, the trade-off has always been like, obviously, like elves are really high fight value, but most of the time they're pretty low kill Low number as well. Or, or low, and low number. They're expensive. Mm. They're paying for that fight value. They're paying for their courage. They're play, paying for elven blades. Yeah. But then you know they're you know they're strength three and sometimes they, maybe they can two hand but and you get plus ones around strand all that kind of stuff can help. But now it's like ah oh, Easterlings you've got millions of them and you've got like seven dice in each fight so like yeah you're only strength three five, but five, you've yeah, got yeah. that many more dice to just win those to to kill those models that it's yeah. like okay yeah we'll just do that or even worse the fucking bay awnings it's like oh yeah. You're paying all these points for a 20, it's a twenty point model, but 
you know, you'll murder everything you touch because you're fight five and straight four with Burley. Burley, like, yeah. <laughs> well, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. It's, and it's and see, that, that's the thing. It's like, I, I've said this to Liam multiple times. I love the Bears. I genuinely would sell all my armies except for Dale and just play the Bears, but solely on the fact that they're so powerful... I just yeah. don't feel like I can do that because I'll go to a gaming event or I'll go to a friendly day and it's like, oh, Sean's brought his fucking bears again. We don't have a chance, which is what it can do the game. It's it's not fun. And like models like the Golden King, lots of fun, totally useless. And for the rest of the book, majority, like I want to say 80, 90% of the book, it, it fits in this level of it's fun it still works and it can still be competitive. But then, yeah, some of the newer factions and the fight value of inflation that we're seeing yeah. is that, yeah, some models just don't, they're not fun and conducive to play because they're either way too broken or there's things around them that sort of make other fun lists and a bit silly lists, which I think are very important. And it's, it's yeah. typically what oh, make it irrelevant. And I think yeah. Mr. King is a, as a result of that. And yeah, Playing, playing into Bears or playing into the Eastling Legion, you just like, it, you feel like the other person is playing with 100 points more, you know? Yeah, it, for sure. Like, it's crazy how much extra stuff's in there. And it's just unfortunate. Yeah. And that's also a Legend of Legion problem, which yeah. we we won't get into here because I will, I will start. <laughs> well, um, I, think, I think we know who we're contacting when we decide to talk about or just do like a chat about Legendary Legion. So, uh, yeah. So I think and, we're... We've um, all got a few things to say uh, about them. Oh, I, I, just... I got a few things to say about fight value, but let's move on. Yeah, all right? let's move on. <laughs> Golden um, King and Tia, Jay Claire yeah. making fight five, give Af- African bard, Af- African bard, Af- <laughs> Af- African uh, bards, five of his war bands, or something like that, make him unique, drop his points by about 30, and he might be useful. Yeah, yeah. 100%. African, African bards. Otherwise, I think African he sits in C tier. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, in, in general, I'd probably put him C tier, but yeah. he's sitting I'd put him in the hole, man. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, just for the Into I... the West podcast, Into the Holy Goes. Into the Holy Goes. In the hole. Um, in the hole. He's gone. <laughs> he's descended. Hey, well, let's, let's, oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's a fall oh, from grace. Oh, he's Ooh, gone. Baby. All right. Cool. The Betrayer. Speaking of S tier, though, I fucking love I the think... Betrayer. I think you've got to take him. No. I, I don't think he's... I, 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 actually, I'll take it back. I don't think he's S tier. I don't think you have to take him. But fuck, he's good in this list, though. He is phenomenal. Yeah. The only um, the thing I look at with him is he works fantastically in the Harrod list. And there's even a couple of ally options that you can use with him. That He opens up so many really cool doors. Mm. Um, like you... I like the Spider Queen and some giant spiders, and they benefit from his Master of Poisons as well. Yeah, yeah, cool. absolutely. You get Venom back with the Harrod list, and that helps with their killing power with some Strength 5 Venom and stuff like that. And they have the numbers to make sure that the spiders don't run away. He works in the, the, the gun line list where you get, I think it's 80 or so models at 800 points, something in that realm. And I've played that list a few times, and I ran into... Some Urukai, I've run into some elves, I've run into some like a whole host of things, and just people you're shooting at them with this master of poisons rule, which for people at home he spends a, a point of will and all poison weapons within six inches free roll all failed wound rolls. Yeah. That happens in combat as well, and and that yep. people forget that. So they'll they'll march at you, they'll spend resources to get to you, then they hit your line and you're like, okay, well, oh, okay. Weapons. Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 And you've probably got still the name with his banner as well. And it's just this yep. never uh, tirade of dice. Um, yeah. It's, that's, why, it's that's why I think, like, personally anyway, um, I haven't played Harad in many, many years. It's been about 10 years since I played them. And I used to use the Golden King. Uh, but <laughs> I... Oh. oh I, I really... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Um, <laughs> but I, I think... That's why I was saying, like, I think it's definitely... S tier, maybe low S tier, high A tier, because you can still fit him and Suladan in a you know six, uh, six, seven, eight hundred point list, and yeah. it's still comfortable for you. 
and you've got yeah, yeah. the thing is you don't you don't poison. have to put him on fell base you, yeah like, even if him on horse on foot. or even just on foot yeah, yeah. and it, it still works because ultimately he's not a great caster he's mid, yeah. mid-range casting so he's That'd really low, there for that range, master really. of, master of poison rule and if you've you've got your 50 percent bows which is the harad army bonus oh i've, I've seen that shit chop down armies yeah, I will say and as well, Harad Army Bonus is probably the best Army Bonus. Yeah, I was actually going to bring this up. Um, you guys should do a Army Bonus tier list. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, no, it's... Yeah, we already it's know what one's going in the hole. I can tell you that now. Yeah. <laughs> There's a <laughs> few going um, in the hole. <laughs> yeah. That, 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 the reason I think he's A tier, not S tier, is more or less he forces you to play a certain way. Um, oh, that's true. Which Certainly a bad thing, but I think it can trap a lot of players into keeping a death bubble where it might not be the best position for him. No. Um, I found it a little bit difficult to get the extreme value out of him that you want, unless you have some terrain with some elevation to really get the most out of him. And his yeah, casting so. pretty unreliable with the four plus transfix, five plus compel. Yeah, um, the four plus casting- transfix hurts. I can't believe yeah. it's a four plus. Like that's yeah. the worst transfix on like a you know, a hundred plus caster. No, well, the, you see the rates are broken up into two categories. You've got the casting rates and you've got the specialist yeah. rates. So yeah, the other yeah, ones, sure. like the Knight of Umba, Kamal, yeah. I think the Dark Marshal as well is the same. No, he's a three plus uh, either. No, he's a three no, plus. No, Dark yeah. Marshal is an incredible it's fucking caster. It's the Betrayer, caster. I think. Uh, Kamal. No, Betrayer's fine. Betrayer is four plus. He's three, no, he's three plus. Betrayer. Knight of Umba is four plus as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you just kind of go, well, that that was probably the one spell that they could have kept out of three plus, and the others they go up, so he's less of a cast, and they still have that reliable one would be nice. Yeah, um, and I, honestly, I, if this transfix with a three plus, I'd put him at S tier, but yeah, because yeah. it's a four plus and it's unreliable, he's only got fourteen will only. Um, yeah, yeah eight, eight tier is where I put him personally. No, That's fair enough. Look, I can't that argue with that. Well, he know. also should absolutely have heroic resolve. Yeah, I don't know why he doesn't. I think they the gypped other, out the ring. Do the other race the, have it? No. No, but, but they, they should. He's the master of poisons. He's going to have a strong constitution, a strong resolve. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Anyway, no, yeah. I, I do I do reckon it here. Like, this is the list where he actually really, really works. I remember in the Mordor tier yeah. list, we had him, I think, like, D tier, because it just doesn't do anything no. there. Yeah. Oh, no. He's great in Mordor. What is it? You don't have any poison. You ally it in. Mordor's yeah, yeah, you can yeah. ally in poison. But this is our tier list where we're not doing allies for whatever fucking reason. Uh, <laughs> bring on a guest uh, and they uh, break our fucking rules. Every um, time. Jeff, last time, rules. you this time, fucking hell. Me, I don't see, I'm not like, Racist. I look at this book without sections. It doesn't matter what I'm <laughs> they're all well in my oh, kitchen. Yeah. Soup kitchen, I call it. I just I cook up some stews, you know what I'm saying? Cook up some mm. red stews. What was mm. your catchphrase again? How good's what? Mm, what? <laughs> I have never made it to public game. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um so let's move on <laughs> to the taskmaster. The Taskmaster. Um, Greg okay, Davis, so this, let's go. Yeah, Greg this, Davies. Yeah. The model I look at and I go, well, that's what the captain's trying to be. Yeah. Um, so why would you... Like, you've only got the one point of might on him, which eh, it's kind of shit, but four-plus chance. I know I just harped on about a four-plus chance fix. Uh, <laughs> yeah. To do like this is free might. Completely moves. different. Yeah, yeah. It is, it is different. Now, I've had mixed results with Taskmaster's I sure. took one in a barrack duelist and he just never held a four plus at a tournament. Yep. But he's got a whip, which is arguably the most base weapon in the game. It's strength <laughs> one. On the uh, and he's got a club so he can stun as well, which is an That's important, true. Yeah. important uh, strength yeah. four stun. Yeah. Can he whip himself to get the free yeah. mine? Yes. A he friendly can... hero. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's very. Um, the only issue is that it's only the same army list, so he can't basically benefit Mahud, which is no. an issue. Yeah. Um, but it's okay if you're taking them in an allied sort of arrangement. You're not taking the Taskmaster anyway, so no, yeah, that's fine. I, but yeah, I do reckon I like a solid B too. Yeah, no, no, hundred yeah. percent. 
where I put him. The he's good. Points. Yeah. As well, and he's still a hero of fortitude, which is fantastic. Yeah. For so sure. you're trading the one point of might for the four plus potential, which yeah. ends up being like over a game, normal Harad list, you maybe get three or four might out of him, which all of a sudden put him at 70 points. You go, that's disgusting. But yeah. imagine he had four, four might, and that's normally yeah, what you sure. get. But he yeah. quite. Yes. Well, it's like it's you're giving you're basically giving all of your heroes Ale's special rule, which is that fucking legendary hero one. Just like, oh yeah, four plus done. Like, mm. and it's it's better because it's each time. And yes. it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll uh, I'll I'll cop a I'll cop a move a suck a march or a shoot. Just yeah, let's, let's, why not? Let's give it a go. See if it's free. Done. Yeah. Um, no, nah, it's very nice. I was it was better in the old edition when it was every heroic. Ooh. Well. No, because we all remember the chill bombs from Sauron being whipped by three Harajim Taskmasters, and that was not okay. <laughs> my, my, my Sauron. I'll go put my Sauron shirt on shortly. Um, yeah, just, yeah, things about, we're talking about things not being conducive to the game, and that was one of them. No, I, for sure. It's a fantastic, like, profile that, and that, uh, you know, evil has access to that good don't, and I love yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. And I think... They are phenomenal. I wish more people took them. We don't see a lot of Harad in Queensland anyway, as a general. No. I'm trying to think, uh, apart from Jeff allying Harad with, with the call, I mean, there, was, uh, there Seb, was Seb. He takes yeah. a Mumak. But beyond that, you don't really, yeah, you don't really no, see I don't it. Really. I know I mean, uh, yeah. Dan Jones was attempting to was. play Harad. And yeah. then it showed up was. on sale the other day, which is very sad. <laughs> Is it still up? I might, I might grab that. It, no, it might yeah, be. It ahead. might be. Go for gaze. Grab, ta- grab a man's sad retirement army. Oh, <laughs> he was doing so oh, well. Poor Dan. Anywho, poor Dan. Uh, the Radrum King. This the Radrum King. Estia. Estia. Yes. Yeah. You are always S-tier. on a Harad list in my mind, and that's what puts it at S tier. The reason I say that is what what we're saying with the um, captain profile. Amazing sort of captain profile. He has access to that lance. Strength four lances are awesome. He's got an extra yeah. point of what means single transfixes don't always happen or paralyzes. Yeah. Jeff's round the prick. Or, or um, fucking Dalgamar's smoke bomb. <laughs> smoke bombs as well. A lot of yeah. you, you'll find a lot of times that extra point of might and that extra point of will makes so much of a difference. And the heroic strength very corner case. But every Harad yeah. list I have ever made that I've played has a Harad king in it. I will say the fact that his valor is is definitely a big a big up. Yeah, it, it's yeah. huge, and that's how the, my typical list that I was running for a little while was Suladan, a king, betrayer, another king, and then a bulk of dudes. Yeah, those three guys. That's six guys out of the two of them, and that's kind of I look at that in the fight five, and I'm going, that's what I'm paying ten points for. Extra six guys is another three bows, three turns of shooting. It's nine shots. You know, yeah, that's a whole. Great- the Gorgoroth, mate. But it's yes. free rolling all the time. And it's getting that on fours. True. <laughs> and it's getting on fours. <laughs> Those are no, yeah. They're Pretty so good. good. I love it. Um, no, that's um, yeah, look, I, I, I like the king. I don't know if I put him S tier. Just on the fact that I reckon there's definitely lists out there that you just like I'll take I'll take Raza, I'll take, you know, fucking a uh, Harat Hasherin. Like, I think yeah. I I, it's definitely A tier for sure. Just that uh, Hero of Valor Fight 5, War Spear Strength 4. Or, or what you said, amazing. Mm. I have just noticed that whenever I play a, a Sharon, they die very silly. That could oh, be for sure. Um, that <laughs> could be probably <laughs> <quality> error. Um, <laughs> and Raza, I think, is the most steaming pile of garbage that Jay has ever formulated with his own two hands. Really, yeah, I, I don't like Raza okay. myself. But, I but, actually love Raza. I adore Raza. The Harrod King to me. Also, there's one other thing you boys are overlooking. Do it. He's Courage Five, boys. Mm. That's true. Now, Look, I, I'm not going to argue with putting him in the S tier. I don't have very many strong feelings towards Harad in general. Well, you should have some strong feelings. <laughs> yeah, be stronger. It's five. Put him in the hole. Put him in the hole. 
That's my strong <laughs> feeling. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, all right. Look, for the guest, uh, for the guest, we'll chuck a mess here. But everything that Cal has said points me towards okay. putting mess here. So look, I'm not gonna, not gonna argue. Liam, I'm gonna come to Brisbane. <laughs> oh, and- <laughs> just finish that sentence, please. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna. Oh, you're gonna you make me come. Power of the Harad King. No, please I'm do. Going to please. show you. Just please don't bring a five army. Please do not bring. <laughs> I'll just throw throw like an east a black dragon easterling at the fucking emperor behind him. <laughs> just see ya. Ah, all good. Oh, even better. What? Well, no, nah, I won't bring a fight five army. I'll bring fight six. <laughs> just use no. my fucking Galadrium court and just shield. You got me it. there, bloke. But I'll just about- I'll do a little spinning trick in front of him for fucking ten turns. What if I allied in Gulliver? Oh yeah, no, that would that would be great, please. Oh my god. I'm starting to think that you might be Polish, mate, because uh all these zombie lists that you these Frankenstein lists that you think up is just <laughs> it's good shit. Of course, heck man. I just sit at work in the filter, like it's hitting stuff with a hammer and a thought will just pop into my head like <laughs> oh, what if I put dog <laughs> with Azog's hunters? <laughs> <laughs> that- Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, my god. Oh, yeah, feral, feral, feral. All right, <laughs> the hash Aaron. Um, put him in the hole. <laughs> put him in the hole. <laughs> I don't, I, I think we've already gone over our points of the hash in the last tier list. Uh, though Cal was not here. Um, well, just recap for me, yeah. I, it, look, I, I love the hash in. I, I think he works better in this list than Corsairs for sure. He's, he is just as like as we pointed out last time was he's eighty points for a point of That's might. It. He's just mm. too yeah. expensive. In in the corsairs, as we said, like you pay an extra ten points and you get Dalla Dalla, Dalla, Dalla whatever the fuck his name is. They're the same, essentially. Yeah. And he's so much better. Whereas this yeah. this lad, even in Harad, one point of might. Cool Banner Kings is awesome. As you said, Cal, like he kind of dies in stupid positions. And I don't think that's necessarily a piloting thing, but also I think the way that his profile works and the way people look at him is people get caught up in this idea of like, okay, he's going to go out on his own and assassinate someone and then just die. Yeah. That's yeah. what people, people get caught up in that thought process. And I know yeah. I definitely did when I ran her show. You really did. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I think I think it's a bit yeah. I think the thing is, I, I the the thing I always come back to is it's eighty points for one might. Like yeah. <laughs> that's mm. always just the biggest thing. Might is so so important in this game for so many reasons. And like when you're spending, like if if it was you know obviously like fifty points for a might, uh, you're getting a special rule, uh, you know, fun stuff for the taskmaster. But when you're spending 80 points for a might on a hero that kind of wants to, like, go and kill heroes, because, like, you know, Bane of Kings, three attacks. I disagree know, there. Strike. I, I, I'm I not saying he should, no. yeah. but, like, the I, I think the idea behind him is, he, like, oh, yeah. okay, he can strike and he's got Bane of Kings and he's got three attacks. He should be able to kill heroes. It's like, I, mm, he doesn't do anything. Whereas, like, I think maybe if he's around killing monsters, that's always very good, but well, it's just... Uh, he's a very uh, good it, troop muncher, to be fair. He also <laughs> will munch troops. I, I want to not die on, I'm not that um, <laughs> up with it with this guy, but I love the concepts. I feel like the Harad um, army list is kind of the first time that, back in the olden rules, that the developers really went sort of outside the conventional army and went, oh, they can have a, a bit of this and a bit of that. You know, they got the Sharon, the Golden King. It's not a Defence 6 shield war. It's this it's this different flavour. Yeah. Um, but symptom of that old book where, yeah, the one might, as you guys have said, is a huge issue because you, you do get caught up on this guy as an assassin. If you're paying 80 points, I'd love to see a rule similar to Armda where he gets a free heroic strike, um, yeah. something that into hero into a target or something like that like raza gets his fight six blood and glory, um, blood and glory yeah, yeah something that would be awesome um but yeah 
what he can do really well. And I believe Kylie won world championship with a triple Sharon list. Am I correct? Uh, she won. Uh, uh, oh, what is it? Uh, Arda Unleashed with oh, Corsairs, oh, okay. which I think she had one or two Hashar, and I can't remember. Yeah, Dalmir and two Hashar. Um, and I think part of I obviously wasn't there. I didn't see it. I've just heard little bits and pieces. But the concept of that to me is you've when you've got a large number of models, which you can do in the Harad list as well, the yeah. Hashar can really bring that to two to one odds, basically. And when you bring mm. it then to two to one odds, you're rolling twice the dice. So this guy's still yeah. killing reliably one maybe two or three models a turn if he's got the spear support and the good setup maybe traps which he can do the point of my yeah. let's in down if supported well and played absolutely perfectly i think he can do fit. yeah they can Look, do if, some if, if you've got the mind of kylie and her playbook um <laughs> yeah look i i definitely think he he can put some work in he's he's one of those yeah harder models to use I, I think it's harder because as i said you kind of get into that mind frame of oh this is what he does this is his backstory yeah. so this is what he should be doing and then but you go like, and do just that doesn't. and he just doesn't yeah i definitely see him more yeah. of the troop troop muncher who can kill heroes or someone who walks into captains and says all right let's party yeah i, I put him at beats here yeah. yeah that's what i'm thinking yeah no, it's 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 he's you know he he he'll, he does better in this list than I think I think we put him C or D in in Corsairs, but yeah, I think it's uh yeah in the Corsair list I would agree with that because you are even though I just harped on about Kylie using it in Corsair list <laughs> <laughs> again it's playing in a certain kind of way, but in the Corsair list it's more. Yeah, you, you want more throwing weapons. There's also you more want... of a lack of might in the Corsair list. All right. So we've spent 40 minutes talking about like five heroes. Um, Is that <laughs> but too long? We've, we have reached, up. we've reached the biggest boy. Yeah, the big, uh, the big boy. The big boy, the best boy. I, it's Suladan. It's Suladan. His name starts with S, so clearly he has to just go S tier. The thing For is... no other reason. Yeah, okay, no other reason. No, yeah. you're right. You're you're absolutely right, but also he absolutely belongs in S tier. There's hundred percent. Like mm. the honestly, the biggest downside of the dude is that he's one fate uh, D five. But like, other than that, everything else about his profile is just six incredible. inch banner, hero fucking legend, and <laughs> ascendant slaps. Just yeah, ascendant is just amazing. Twelve yeah. inch stand fast with a. Courage five three will hero. It's, yeah. Uh fight five, strength four, poison sword, which can be then Bane of Kings by the uh Old by boy. The betrayer. Um yeah, look, what's not to love? Three attacks, horse on the charge, four attacks, fucking having a good time. Yeah. I personally for, for think 150 well, 120 points. points. 115 with Diamond Horse, yeah. yeah. Uh, give him the bow, why not? <laughs> <laughs> That's your war spear on your Harry King. Oh no! Well, <laughs> uh, let's start dropping the whole king then. I don't need it at all. I need that bow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, well, yeah. There's one of the best written profiles in the game because he's 100 yeah. points, right? Fantastically, I think balanced though because you're paying 100 points. Cool. You get a six inch banner. That's phenomenal. A 12 inch stand fast. Phenomenal. But one fate, five defense, which means. Yeah. He's not able to really go in and call nine heroic combats and be a hero. He is no. a support piece. Yeah. Allies into so many armies, and we see him in so many lists. Yeah. Allied in. That, yeah. yeah, he's he, I, We don't need to talk about it. If you if you're looking at this tier list to, you know, play Harad, you wouldn't be watching noobs. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but you'd be watching into just, the West podcast. Um. Yeah, just play him once. <laughs> and they, they harp on him about it, like still there all the time. He's just so good. Oh, easily. Yeah. yeah. So I don't I have anything else to say. S tier yeah. and yep. in my mind. No doubt. Done. All right. Um, so just the the, the base Mumark. Uh, um, with all like you can you can I'm gonna be honest. this Mumark in all kinds of ways. I'm gonna be honest. Any Mumark outside of the uh, serpent horde legendary legion is Grand in the army, hole. yeah. No, I 
don't. Ooh. Maybe not the whole, but I do not rate them. They're great. They're perfect noob stompers if you want to fuck up some newbies to the game. But as soon as someone has an inkling of what to do, suddenly it's a 350 point or however much they cost that walks through your own army. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. No. Look. I, I do not rate the Mumux uh, until I went up Ooh. against Seb in the Serpent Horde Legendary Legion. And I walked in going, cool. I know how to deal with fucking Mumux. Easy. No problem. No stress. Uh, and then, yeah, the Serpent Horde shit just fucking railed me. But, or Grand Army of the South, that's what it's called. Yeah, sorry. Grand Army of the South. Yeah. Uh, but just base regular ones, I, I don't rate them. Unless you're taking it with an all-mounted list. But even then, just make it into the Grand Army Legendary Legion. I, I see. This is, this is the thing, Sean. You need to think about this, okay? Let's look at the options for the Mumak. <laughs> okay, let's just have a look there. Gnarled Hide, 30 points. Defense 8, good, good number, but right. not so great. Mahood Beastmaster Chieftain. Oh, it's going to get big. us some extra courage. That's pretty good. We like yep. that. Yep. And some will. Nice. Yep. And an extra point of mind as well. So pretty, pretty yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Um, sigils of defiance, resistance to magic. Oh, very good. That's, that's spicy. But I like that. Grand Army of Stars do get that. You get it for free. Tusk weapons. Hmm. Big. Four yeah, dice. Weapons. Very good. Ooh. Very good. Bow temperament. Oh, four attacks when I get charged. Okay, I like that. And then there's the two unsung heroes of <laughs> the, in the, the fucking rope. <laughs> the, the ropes and the rocks. And the rocks. The rocks. <laughs> <laughs> They're big. That's the thing. I love the rocks. That's that's what I was going to say. I think Cal's making the right point. Is that like obviously Grand Army of the South Mark is also very good, but the ability to just be able to go, I want this, 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 and this, uh, mm-hmm. in in just a base Mark, and just being able to like really, really deck it out to what kind of list you want to build with the rocks and the fucking <laughs> rebel lines are so good. Well, see, the, here's, here's the maneuver. Um, I'm yet to. to trade market and you guys are getting really excited to um grab my Mumac out of the cupboard there and, and start playing him again because I was running Mumax for a little bit and I distinctly remember a game against my brother where he got so salty I packed up and left because I just wasn't having any of it. Oh, um, God. I know Jarek doesn't watch all the way through these videos so I know I'm fine there. It's got no <laughs> elves in it you see. Um, oh, you're right. But the the I've always had this idea in my head and we'll get to the other idea when we get to the far ad list. But repelling lines and rocks, right? 12 watches of Kana with twin swords. Okay, so three not the bows, shooting. importantly. No, uh, yep. They've got the three plus shoot value. The rocks yep. are strength six at eight inches. Yep. And then we've got the repelling lines. So yep. you can shoot them at spear supports, obstruction free, because you're from an elevation. Yep. So you run the thing in, you just send it in, and people go, oh, awesome. I'll send my heroes in, I'll send this and that. And you just pelt the fucker with rocks. Strength six, that's an Avenger bolt thrower. Yeah. You've got 12, 12, 12 shots, shots every turn, hitting on threes. That's <laughs> eight threes. hits mathematically. You're killing four troops a turn with rocks. Fuck the impact hits, man. They're a <laughs> bonus if you get them. You've got rocks. And what, then- I love, what I love about this is that Riley has sent this exact same plan into the noobs chat at one point. <laughs> Yeah. It's just this it's, rock repel line it, plan of just yeah, if, if absolutely. You're not, it's if you're not playing nice. it that way, if you're not playing it with repel lines with your two sword watches and rocks, I think honestly you've got to be doing it wrong. That's the only way well, that it no. does not sit in the lower echelons of like C or D tier in my mind. Like the the amount of times, uh, to be fair, you don't see Mumarks very often. Uh, but man, it, it was great. Just a Mumak would show up and this was before Grand Army of the South. Mumak would show up and you go, cool, here's one model that's going to sit and just stop you from, from moving. All right, cool. You've, you've shot and killed him. That's no problem. I'm going to stop that the, Mumak from moving. And so then, then if you, you don't have the rocks and shit, you're not doing anything else. Well, you've still got in a traditional list, 12 well, guys on the back with bows. Yeah, that's right? fine. 12 bows you can't get to. That's phenomenal for, for yeah. taking objectives yeah, as true. well. And you've also got to consider that I believe they don't count to the bow limit. Or is that oh, just in No, the, I think I they thought, still do. Oh, uh, do they? I believe they still do. 
I think there is no, something in War yeah. Beasts. No, I think I'm getting my wires crossed. Um, that's okay. Uh, what was I going to say though? That they stop you playing the game on your terms. Like you will be spending resources to call heroic moves to stop the Mumak from charging. And because you can get so much other stuff in the Harab list, you totally can get the models to still fight people with 1.5 to 1. You've got to structure it right, don't get me wrong. But yeah. I think, like, I oh, I just bought a bunch of Eastlings and I'm getting <laughs> funny feelings about double Mumak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting some funny feelings. <laughs> Look, double double Muma. I'll be honest, double Muma oh, would fucking sounds fucking slap. amazing. But just that especially like... if they got rocks. Think yeah. of the rocks. Oh, think oh, of the rocks. Yeah. Fucking hobbits wish they had those kind of rocks. <laughs> oh god. I just <laughs> I get my dice. Hang on. I don't know. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're doing 12, 12 shots on threes. Three, six, nine, twelve. All right, threes to hit. <laughs> ASMR. All right, we got nine hits. Puck. Good. That's good. All right. Yep. Good. 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 D seven hero. Uh, yeah. D D six. Well, uh, we could we can do D six. We'll do a D six sim, and then we'll do a D uh, D five sim. All right. D six hero. So he's dead. That's the point. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> so King Thaden's died. Oh. He's, oh, Kit Thaden would have died to like one rock. Like, dude. I am dude, dead. Melt. Shit freeze. Oh, that's, my that, God. This is, now, you're doing that. Eight inch range is a bit rough. Don't get me wrong. But heroes are going to be close to call those heroic moves to stop you from charging. Yeah. yeah There's always going to sure. be. And the thing's got 10 wounds, man. <laughs> Yeah, it does. You just got to make. I think you still need to get get the Beastmaster just for those courage checks, the will, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, I love living on the edge. <laughs> oh, all right, never mind then. Um, but yeah, no. I look. I like the Mumak. I personally never fucking versed a Mumak. I really want to. I've I've never I've never gotten the opportunity to verse a Mumak. I don't want to verse your Mumak, Cal. I'm <laughs> getting in the car. I'm <laughs> get the car and I'm coming right now. <laughs> Let's go. Driving up. Oh, but yeah, no. A solid a solid beat here. I reckon. I think. Also, I've got a I've got a spicy um list idea. You it's will. an ally list, if I'm permitted. Yeah, um, go for it. Sauron. <laughs> the <Moon Mac. laughs> Nah, we're done. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, call. anyway, thank um, you. Um, all right, let's oh. fucking finish these heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I talked too much. <laughs> now nah, we love it. We love it. What the fuck are you doing? Raza. Raza. In the hole. In the oh, hole. Time to have a wank. I was going to um, say D tier. No, I fucking love Raza. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight for Raza. This is, oh, this is the hell I die on. This is gonna be a three hour fucking video. All right, look, okay, okay, look. But big thing, big thing. I love a three attack hero. There's nothing I love more than a three attack hero, especially yep. when they're seventy five fucking points and three might. The thing I, I argue is that it's not. It's so at the start of the game, you obviously choose your fucking hero. You're fine, whatever. Um. But the big thing is he is he is absolutely going to kill anything he touches other than fight five. <laughs> it's it Bane of Kings, he's fearless when you've got Sully, he's got strike, he's fucking fucking three attacks. I love three attacks. I'm gonna keep talking about the three attacks. And then eventually you're probably gonna touch the hero that you wanted to kill, and he'll die. Done. Raza, love him. Uh, all right, I'm all gonna right. unleash the hounds. Cal, go. Sick and okay. What's what's Raza's defense, Liam? Uh, five. Give me a sec. What's Suladan's <laughs> defense? Uh, Cal, what's Suladan's defense? What, what, who's in S tier right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just throwing rocks at him. Hang on. Oh yeah, right, Raza right, died. To, yeah, wow. To what a rocks. surprise! <laughs> what a surprise! The like nine strength six hits that would have killed almost every hero killed the one hero with fucking one fate and two will wounds. It was I don't only care. it was only seven rocks that time that hit. It was a bit of a bad roll. Um, oh right, no, right look, I've I've never actually ran him personally. I look at him on paper and go three might. I love it. The rule, it's kind of like whatever. Bane of Kings, yeah. awesome for killing troops. I think he does what the Hasharan does but that fight value hurts him just a little bit more, so he doesn't do it as well. 
I have been gotcha'd a couple of times by Dodsey, who's run Raza. I was running a Knights of the Round Table list with Guahi, Gandalf, and Aragon. Um, and he picked Aragon as the target. I'm like, there's no way he picks Aragon. He picks Gandalf for sure, so we can get in, get the fight up, and then, you know, he's yeah. got something. Up. And he, he was playing these mind games with me, and he's running, man. He's like, beauty. Let's fight. I'm like, are you going to strike? He's like, no, we're the same fight. And I'm like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> he me out with it. And I, it is, it's not bad. I don't think he's horrible. No. So sorry, Sean. He did die to rocks though. So he yes. should go in the hole. But so did on, every did other hero. In, <laughs> did the move back end up in B tier? This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love, because you've got to check it on his phone. He's like, What's this? <laughs> what's this? What's this B tier? It's my teeth. Uh, it's the it's Raza. Put him in the hole. <laughs> now look, he's he, he really he really isn't as bad as 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 we're harping on. I actually I really like him. I dig him a lot. Hey, look, Just because I, I have no strong hole. feelings about Harad, so chuck him wherever the fuck you want, as long as it's not S tier. Everyone, everyone knows I've got a real, I've got a special place in my heart for captain tier models with three might and like a fun, a fun, goofy rule. Uh, Hurin! Goroff, Goroff, Hurin, fucking Raza, they can all, they can all get in. In gold, fucking MVP at Gladstone three years in a row. Hang on, hang on, what defense is Goroff? Uh, also five, but I'm going to call a free heroic defense in the (laughs) shooting phase. You can't do it in the shooting phase! (laughs) Who the who the fuck uh, was it that called me over? I think I'm pretty sure it was at Gladstone trying to argue that they could call Mick, a heroic defense in the shoot phase. Probably Josh. Mick, Mick, Mick Goroff died. Wow, what a surprise! Who would have stunk it? Yeah, who would have stunk it? The rocks, boys. Put that in the S tier. Put those rocks in the S tier. All right, let's fucking, we'll, okay. Let's we'll make rocks, we'll make a S-tier. here we go. Just rocks. <laughs> Just the word rocks. Um, oh, I, I think Raza probably beats here in my mind. Um, same oh, as the Sharon <laughs> suffers from fight five. That, yeah, that's okay. I'm just letting the viewers know <laughs> the hill I die on, so to speak. No, fair. I understand no, fair. though. I know people like him and I know people use him. My biggest issue with him and why he belongs in B tier and not A tier is he's Suladan's bodyguard. Suladan is always on a horse as a king should be. Give I'm the guy rather... a fucking horse. Yeah, no, he absolutely should have a horse. No, that I, I totally agree there. He should have a horse. I think that is definitely like the biggest oversight in a very mounted list to not give him a horse. Uh, he's also like, he's like Suladan's bodyguard. He's like, he's clearly like a serpent guard is like the idea. They all get yeah. horses. This motherfucker doesn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, very stupid. But I, I don't know. He's got a special place. I love him. And in my mind, he should be 90 points. Fight five base and his special rule will take him to fight seven. Now he's scary. Then he now he's intimidating. Scary. Also you know? mounted. If he was if it was a hundred points, like you give him a horse. Ninety points, give him a horse. Hundred, and he got to fight seven when he's in the right hero well, with Beta then Kings. Then he's um, <laughs> yeah, then he, he is. If they to keep him on foot though, give him the fight five to fight seven. So fight five, he can still kill troops. And fight seven now, you will be striking, sir. Yeah. You will be striking. And that, to me, kind of is more in line with the theme that they were kind of going for. Yeah. Because he feels like a weird mix between a Hasharan and a Serpent Guard, where they've gone, Hasharan, <laughs> Serpent Guard, uh, useless Bad. model. And pineapple alphabet. Yeah. No, yeah. I, okay. So I think, I still think A tier, oh, the biggest thing as well, I think it's the three might because the army doesn't actually have that many three might heroes. Like yeah, you've got you've got Sully and that's it. And it's like, okay, look, grab grab another cheeky little three might hero. And like then you could take a hasher in and, and you could still be all right because that one is on. not gonna be as bad. Did you forget about the Mahood Beastmaster and the Mumak giving you three might? Oh, you're absolutely right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and are you ready? Oh you gotta point a might back for his heroic move, the taskmaster. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, the Taskmaster, that would, I think he would be six inches away from the Taskmaster at that point because he's on the no. on the howder. You put it, mm. No, you can't put him on the howder, but if, if only models could climb up the repelling lines. Oh, that would be that would be broken Imagine. as hell. I'd love that. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going on a tangent. Should we I'm move on right. to the troops? Yeah, let's move on to the troops. Aww. We've still got two, three other lists to do, and we're sitting here. Let's Hang on. Quick. Give me a sec. I'm just going to buy another Mimac. 
<laughs> and I'm just going to make the hole real quick. That thousand points, three more marks. Four, why not? I'll just yeah, check it. it. Oh, whoops, that's, that's D2. Lord of the Rings, Evil, Serpent Horde. Only nine options. It's a bit disappointing. Well, they're $178 now. What? Oh, yeah, they, they up by like 25 bucks recently. Dude, they used yeah. to be $8. I know, right? Yeah, no, not, not worth it. Uh, just buy an irresistible force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, not sponsored by the Gap Games, also not sponsored. Both of you sponsor us, please. Please. Um, uh, I'll right. print you a new Mac for cheaper than Games Workshop, printed and painted. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There's the plug. All right. Uh, yeah, the Warriors. We're, we're on the Warriors. Um, oh, this is going to get real weird. All right. S2 is going to have to be a little bit further up. It's fine. The, um, oh, it's, it's the hole, not the hole. Yeah, the hole. The, I was gonna the f- hole. The hole. All um. Right. So we've got we've got a fucking banner. What a good Brad time. Banner. He's all right, but he's not yeah, that good. You got he's got a six inch one. Or yeah. the uh, Golden the King. Or <laughs> the Golden King. In the hole, honestly, you're never taking a regular Harry dude with the banner. You never they look you, fucking you sick. sick. Look at that fucking. They look they look great. Good. The model's cool, but you're never taking one. So yeah. my money. Oh, yeah, you are right. I look. I know. Right. Abracadabra, baby. Want, baby. Give me that A tier. Ooh. Uh, S. I love, I love Abracadabra. I'm a big fan of fatties. Like, I don't think I, uh, are you always taking them? Probably not. No, you're but, not. Okay. But, fuck me I'd put them in B tier. I, B. I feel yeah. very represented when the fatties are on the table. So I so want A tier. Yeah. <laughs> Sean, instead of printing you dwarves, I'm just printing you 30 fatties. Oh, please. Oh, yeah. You're, you're getting dwarves? <laughs> Love oh, that. No, honestly. Um, oh, Actually, look. I think I think A tier. I don't yeah. think they're S tier. Yeah. The only reason I would say B tier, they're very good models because they, you know, killing D6 models on fours um, is phenomenal. I really love the Harrod list because they stop people playing the game how they want to. These yeah. are a model that helps that. Um, yeah. yeah. But the only reason I don't think A tier or S tier personally is because of the options you have available in the list, like Mumak, Mounted, Poison Line. That's three yeah. lists I've run that don't take fatty. That is for sure. That is for sure for sure true. But I think the thing is, like obviously S tier is always like that one. You're going to be taking those guys. They're great. Yeah. Uh, I, there's definitely some warriors in here that are going to go S tier for sure. But I think that the benefit though is that like obviously like you said with harad there is like at least six to seven lists that are still very very competitively viable and i think yeah. fatties are in like the, two or three of them they're least. almost they're almost on par with mordor in terms of ways to build mordor obviously there's a lot more ways to build your list but yeah harad definitely gives you the options as well yeah. <laughs> Aaron's just better they do it better <laughs> they kind of kind of do i don't, I don't I, I, look i love them both but i love harad so much yeah, um, the ninjas. I'll, I'll accept the name of the fatties. I think they're yeah. awesome. I love that to symbolize making them stronger. They just made them round. Um, <laughs> yeah. They look. It's it's a very it's very realistic of of bodybuilders. They're not I'm, like they're not ripped, I'm but very they drunk. are they are beefy. beefy I love the beefy beefy boys. boys. Um, I will say uh, the, the Val Games uh, fatties did a very good job of making them look swole, but also still round. It's so nice. They're, they're the ones that I print, and I've, I've printed probably close to 200 for people. And yeah, I just, they I love the curved, curved scimitars that those models have, and the poses yeah. are fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, they're so good. They, they remind think- me of, uh, they remind me of Jack Black in terms of like their flexible fat boys. Like, yeah. They get into all these yeah. weird poses. They could definitely do a fucking bat flip. A back oh, flip, for sure. So. <laughs> um, uh, uh, right. New Max for 90 bucks. Done. Nice. <laughs> in the mail. Let's go. Sensational. Oh, A live yes. purchasing video. <laughs> uh, it's I like mean, those people that be... do live uh, loot boxes and shit for like CSGO. Yeah, yeah. But this is... Uh, anyway, don't, don't, fun. don't get me wrong, wrong. Baby. <laughs> God damn it. This has really gone off the rails. I like All it. right. Watch it. Watch, watch your the carnival with Bo. Bo. 
Oh, um, I, I like the idea, but they lose their two attacks to do it. And yeah. I think yeah. it's, in my that, mind... I rate the two safe. swordsmen over the bowmen. Yeah, I, 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 I really like running these guys with Hasharan and running like a... Um, like they're similar to black dragons and a dragon knight. Like you've got the little guys learning from the master. Yeah, for they've sure. Got all these two attack models. They fight four, which is great. So you can back them up with Harajimori's with spear and bow to get the most out of your gun line. Yeah. Um, and they can charge terror and they have hatred spirits. So if you're running into Angmar, they mm. love it. The they worst thing it. about them, they Dance. don't have poison fucking swords. Yeah. Reg- yeah. Hasher and two attacks, not poison swords. It's so dumb. Yeah, um, but I don't understand why. Can you imagine if you had 20 oh, of these guys re rolling? Oh, it would be yeah. so good. Crap. <laughs> I'd love it. I think it wouldn't be necessarily bad. The nine points of the model in defense three. So elves ripping to shreds, they're dying on fours or threes to anything. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think I if they were, that. even like, even if the swap to blades was like, oh, you get two attacks uh, and poison, but you're 10 points. Like, oh, yeah. that's still, I'd still go. Oh, still, um, I'd say. The watcher with bow though is in the hole. I've never run a list with watchers with bows. See, I think I the only reason I, I would have said C and B tier, C and or B tier, and the swordsman it's definitely that, A. It's that, two, it's that three plus shooting. It's that three plus shooting when if you if you go, oh, I'm gonna go fucking uh, betrayer, and the- I'm gonna go with poison bows and get re rolls. Three plus shooting, you're hitting so much more uh, and getting so much more worth out of that betrayer getting its poison. That, that, that is definitely fair, but also fifty percent <laughs> bow limit hitting on fours of regular Harad troops. You got a lot also of bows. Very good. Also well, let very me, good. Let me break the math down for you. A Harad warrior with bow is seven points. A Watcher of Karna is nine points. Yeah. So you can get basically for every four Watchers of Karna five Harad, and you're only improving yeah. your odds sixteen percent to hit. So over, if you wanted to really like do the maximum on each. Your problem, the, the the odds invariable is going to be so small because you have more dice, and then you've got more bodies on the field compared with the warriors. But, but yeah, the benefit of grabbing the three plus boys is that if you have them all just within that six inches of the betrayer, then you don't you're not getting any more benefit having more models because the six inches of the betrayer. Correct, but then you've got less models to win you the game. You break easy, go to the defense three, and we'll lose shooting war. That's mm. I. I've never taken, I've yeah. tried to run them with bows and I always came to that conclusion, which is why I think they belong in the hole. I've never taken them in a list after I've played them once or twice and went, gee, where'd my points go? Gee, these guys have done nothing. Like they yeah. died to us. Like you, you, you're paying nine points for a wood elf with a strength two bow with low courage and, and only fight yeah. four. Yeah, I get you there. I got you there, didn't I? Yeah. Keep going down, buddy. Keep mm. going down. Mm. Keep going. One more. Mm. One more. It's even going too far for me. Yeah. <laughs> this is my tier list now. No, we're we got we're sticking with D tier. Look, they're shit, but I think I think they I think they've got a place at some point. Um whereas yeah. the No, I, I definitely would have said C or D tier. Because yeah, look, as you said, Cal, they, they are just gonna C die. Before. But yeah, there's a few spots. There's spots. Yeah. Anyway, the swords boys, chuck them in A tier. No, B tier. B tier. Oh. You take fat. Or you take them, you only take them in corner cases. Ooh. They're interchangeable. Yeah, I, I'm putting them low, low B tier. Like low A tier, I mean. Below the fatties for sure. Fatties, I will take a fatty over a watcher, but it's just like the, a two attack model is just always just so nice in my eyes, especially with fucking nine points. It's like that yeah. two attack model, nine points, you've got that six inch banner, so you're really going to be able to benefit from that two attacks. It means you can kind of spread out more. You then give them a spear support. You got three attacks. You're out. You're outnumbering a lot of armies and dice war. Yeah. Like I do. Yeah. I do agree with you, and I think they are fantastic. I love them. People will target them first, so they will die. Yeah, for sure. Stuff. Yeah, um, yeah, and your, for sure. your numbers in out. Great against terror. Great in the back of a mumak with rocks and repel lines because they still get their three. Tell you, quite not having those. But yeah, the, the problem really is that defense three for me. Uh, oh, for sure. I'd agree with you on eight tier, but dying on fives as opposed to fours, when there's two dice being thrown, it just sucks. It really yeah, sucks. Yeah, no, you're right. Oh, it's just, it's that, we come back to that fucking fight economy as well, eh? Because it's like, yeah, sure, fight four is really good, but then suddenly, like, 
It's not, no. Against, yeah, suddenly it's just not. You're coming up against elves, coming up against fucking bears, coming up against fucking Eastlings. Eastlings. Oh, my God. Yeah. On, well, you've got Rohan, Royal Guard. Yeah. There's a lot of Fight Five around. Um, and that those things I just listed are like 50% of the tournament scene. So yeah. that's the problem. Man, fucking fight economy. Love it. Kill yeah. them. All right. So one, again, what do we got next, boys? Serpent Guard serpent and Foot. Guard. Foot serpent serpent guard. Guard. Well, of course the Serpent Guard is on foot because the Serpent Rider is the mounted model. Um, serpent Guard, why should have bodyguard? Be, yeah, they should. This eye, uh, they should at least be courage for fuck's sake. Um, I'm all right. I I put them at, at B tier, maybe C tier. Yeah. I think they're good in a betrayal list because they have poison spears, and then you got fight for to back up your bowman. That's yeah. where I. Uh, the thing outside. is, as well though, you've got like yeah, the fight for to back up your bowman, very good. But like you could just do bow and spear on those boys, and then you just that's your line on on warriors because then they still got poison spears because yes, the correct. fucking army bonus gives them poison spears on the warriors. So it's like. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, they, I, I don't see value in them too much on foot. Like, yeah, cool, giving you fight for, you know. I've seen some behind. decent allied lists. I've seen I'd some decent allied lists horse. with them. Yeah, no, I much prefer them for horse. Yeah. I think chuck them C, and we'll yeah. move on. Yeah, they're only good in the betrayer gunline list to me, yeah. just to get the fight. That's the only yeah. place. That- uh, gun uh, the bows, S here. I love them, they're yeah, so good. Yeah, they're uh, 50, 50, 50% bows, hitting on fours, poison, poison. and then the betrayer giving them yeah, rerolls. Fuck yeah, Absolutely. uh, in the hole, this boy, Warhorn. Oh, uh, Warhorn, oh, yeah, my god, yeah, see, finally, <laughs> nah. no, your new Mac, your new Mac, yeah, my hood is now courage six. That's what I was going to say, is that actually this is definitely one of the lists. Oh, he doesn't give a fuck. Oh, that's that's a shame. Um, no. It's it's definitely, this is also another one of those lists where I think it really can benefit, though, because it's like, you don't have any bodyguard. You don't have any fucking shamans. You don't have any, like, yeah. you got nothing that makes you fearless in this list. I genuinely think go fuck yourself, Sean. It's 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 going up. It's going up this time. This nah, is definitely I, the time. Yeah, I don't, I'm All probably right. taking it as I'm taking a Watcher of Kana with Bo in my mind. Like I love it, but I'd rather just have five extra, six extra guys watching on. Yeah, but it's yeah. just it's oh, that's always it my actually thing benefits this list nah. so much. I, I just I think Warhorns are silly when they're not free one hero like Urken Brand or whatever. Yeah, um, that's how I, I feel about. Them. I love courage buffs. I think courage buffs are one of the best thing in the game, whether it be an army bonus or a warhorn on a hero that, you know, it fucking comes free. But then to pay thirty points for a warhorn, a fuck me, give me they're a second more, or a third banner. Yeah, they're more expensive than a banner, and that's if they were twenty points, fifteen. Oh, then I'm, cons- I'm if they're fifteen or twenty points, I'm probably taking one every army. I'm not paying thirty points yeah. for one. Fuck they, that. If 25, 20, I think they've got a place for 30. No. They probably still do have a place, but I just can't I just think I can't of justify. all the lists, all the lists that have the option of a Warhorn, this is actually the one where it definitely benefits this list. Because it's like, it buffs your Mormark. It buffs your troops that don't just normally roll have... roll better. Just fucking... <laughs> Hang on, Sean. <laughs> What's uh, what army are you playing at the moment? Uh, I've been yes. playing a bit of Gondor at the moment. What's your defense? <laughs> uh, D7? A D seven shield wall. wall. Oh yeah. shit! Oh, I got seven hits. One, two, three, four, five wounds. Ooh. That's that's five, five models. models. Yeah, that's that's a war horn. That's a war. that's more than and a war horn. Wait, I was gonna make. Uh, so now yeah. I now I wish I didn't have the warhorn. I wish I had regular troops. Um, I wish I had five guys. <laughs> yeah. Problem. I, I hate you all. This is bullying. <laughs> well, I tell you what, man, you run a, a Harren list with warhorns. I'll run with, with one with rocks and repelling lines. We'll yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Fuck yeah. comes out on top. At least my mum will stick around. <laughs> I've got two. I've got two. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh my god. All righty. All right. See you, boy. He's sitting yeah. right here. He's good. Big. It's poison spear. Yeah. Having a good time. Absolutely. The the fucking Raiders. I actually hate the Raiders. Uh, no, Haradrim Raiders. I, I hate them. They're all bad. their mounted shit. I rate really highly, except for the banner. Well, yeah, no, I'd, I'd, I'd say A tier probably for the Haradrim Raider with bow because mm-hmm. twelve points to yeah. have a, a a shooting bow. I run them with my Farhad list, three of them and three serpent um, riders, because having a couple sneaky honesty bows on the four plus platform on a horse in that list is great. <sighs> The, and in the all mounted list with the betrayer, you run oh, eighteen of them, fifteen of them, fifteen shots re-rolling everything because you can fit them in the in the betrayer's bubble on the horse. Is so good at going. Oh, we're going to move to a position, cop the five up, and shoot some shots, and then oh, we're staying still. We're going to use master of poisons. Boom! I'm going to obliterate you in front rank. Like mm. just that ability to just cycle through options and like versatility. They'll sit on an objective all day and shoot you from it with their elevated yeah. position. I, I I do really like them. I'm I'm big fans myself. I'm, I'm the complete opposite. I it's like it's I you pay that extra point, you grab a fucking serpent rider, it's fight for it's it's got a fucking war spear, it's doing all the damage, it's it's it's, it's just better. It's just better. But you're not like, you're not I, you're not throwing No, you're not throwing these guys in. No, you're not throwing any like, of these troops straight into combat. Like the serpent guard are good for combat, but you you kind of want to mix between the two. You want a nice, you know, nah, it's because the fight lying. three sucks if i'm not ball. hitting you then i'm losing the game you're shooting them no i'm not hitting them you're my shooting men them. Aren't, my I men aren't know. close enough to see the whites of their eyes <laughs> holy you're... hell i just got six hits on moving horses oh my god holy hell i just killed four warriors and minutes terrorists in sheer ball now no, re- not gonna re- someone now re-roll someone the failed check, check these motherfuckers and die i killed three warriors and minutes terrorists in sheer ball I want to check this guy's dice. Uh, they um, going up. He's all right. He's, he's all right. They've got to be A or S, not B. Oh, Absolutely not. Kidding. Yeah. They're not, no, they're uh, they're high A. They're if not. not S, without a they're doubt. Not. not even close. Without a doubt. We're breaking the middle. We're going low A. <laughs> I just I just don't rate them at all. I don't know. They're, they're all right. They're, they're all right, incredible. but I don't think they're. I don't think they're incredible. No. Anywho, uh, uh, the, banner. the banner boy in the hole. In the hole. Yep. Where'd he go? In the, he's uh, in the serpent hole. guy with Oh, cow! Now. We've lost cow. <laughs> oh no, he's there. I thought you were fucking frozen. <laughs> he's grinding no, his I was, teeth. <laughs> I was buying a third new Mac. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's buying a box of fucking Haradrim Riders. <laughs> Fucking heaps of the fellas around here somewhere. Oh my god! These guys are definitely going C tier. The fucking regular riders. What's the point? No way! Because you just grab a fucking serpent guard for an extra point. What? Why would you take these? Because Liam, the serpent guard models are expensive and hard to find. <laughs> Go to Brunet and Brunet and get a fucking Brunet boy. Yeah! <laughs> I'm in search of the noobs channel some serpent riders, um, and some oh. Haradrim Raiders. I'm sending Haradrim Raiders now instead of serpent riders. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, look, oh. um, I uh, C tier or B tier. The only reason you take them with the war spear is if they already have a bow. That's mm. the point I wanted to make. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Yeah. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But then you spend on the same points as a fucking serpent rider. So, yes, yeah, you can shoot too. Mm. Uh, S tier, serpent rider, done. Big fan. Uh, uh, Maybe not S. No, nah, done. <laughs> All right. yeah, I, Liam's uh, <laughs> Liam's turned on stubborn mode. So uh, <laughs> it's like <laughs> in we're the about hole. to run out. In the <laughs> hole. We're about to run out on the fucking second session, and we've yeah. still got another two fucking lists to do. <laughs> What other list we got? Farhad and what? Yeah, Farhad. Farhad. Well, the Farhad warriors and heroes. Yeah, so I'll take like three seconds, but that'll be right. Yeah. 
Oh, I've got a lot to say. <laughs> I know, you, I know you do. I love I it because uh, Cal has a lot to say, which then sets Liam off, which then sets Cal back <laughs> off, sets Liam off, and I'm just there going, "I'm Look, hungry." It's my tootsies. <laughs> <laughs> personalities and just start yelling at each other about rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Right. look okay. if you're not going to move it down yeah there you go perfect oh. <laughs> the fucking stubborn bulls all right we've hit forehead <laughs> i'm going to start <laughs> hyperventilating in a minute we've um, got a, we've got a, the a mama, i'm going to start i'm going to start shaving my head and putting on face paint in a minute <laughs> <laughs> buys a fourth of my mark <laughs> what do you think i'm doing right now oh my god um so what's what's your farharad plans for this mama for the mama yeah Cal. oh Sean? man i absolutely adore everything in this list first <laughs> off before we touch on anything i want to touch on the army bonus oh it's very good s plus man this this when army bonus got- makes the army yeah. and it's cool it's yeah. so cool like i love yeah. so, some armies they really miss the boat but this one everything about this and the harrod list i think is just well written to a fucking tea i love everything about it yeah oh absolutely when you've got a courage five leader who just runs in he's got three two will to be able to spend as well and you're just like oh my courage two troops well fuck it let's go let's go into that fucking army of the dead line let's go into that fucking yeah angmar yeah. line like it just oh it really really helps this fucking list so much yeah well i just love how in theme it is like the king is this brave yeah. big guy and he, he, he charges in and the troops are like well Kicks off. he's gone let's I go like, let's do it yeah i love it i love it follow, All right. follow the king so where's the Mumak Where? going? Where's the Mumak oh, going? Sorry. The Mumak war leader. No, this is the regular no, just, one. Just the base oh. Mumak. This well, is the, okay. the war Mumak of Farharad. Yeah, yeah. What are you guys going to put the... Because the Mumak war leader, I believe, is he's in. He's here. He's, he's on his own. Oh, he's... that's the model. Right. I see. Sorry, yeah, yeah. I was looking for that really pretty model. Um, that one... <laughs> no, I don't know that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah look. A beautiful model. No. It's the Wormy Macafarad, it's still good. I, 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 the only thing, the only reason I would say it's not as good as the other one is you can't put Watches of Kana in it, right? That, that's what you think I'd say. But then you realize that the hood <laughs> all have a three plus shoot value anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's it. They do. And then you realize, I thing. knew you were going to say that. <laughs> and then you realize that <laughs> the half trolls can go in the howder and go they in the repelling can. line. They also and then have. you realise you've got a deep strike Valkyrie <laughs> disembarkment in Lord of the Rings that's doing, <laughs> you know. So the list idea I had was you give the things foul temperament and tusk <laughs> weapons and repelling lines to really send like the feral message, 12 half trolls in the howder um, and then like a key on camel and that's 800 points, the oh. worst list you've ever seen. <laughs> oh, yeah. for fuck's sake deep Honestly, striking half trolls oh it's beautiful deep striking half trolls look yeah, yeah. look where do we that, put the other one alone i think we put it b oh yeah you said deep striking half trolls i was like oh yeah let's go on a tier or b tier unfortunately no, but you're right. yeah you're right I know. i'm never wrong mate no. um what's next the mahu king wasn't good Mahood King's got to be S, surely. Dude. <laughs> Are you saying the mole because they have skin cancer from being yeah. in the sun? Yeah, yeah, oh, that's, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> um, go to a fucking uh, skin chair checkup, just uh, have a look around, just see see what up, see what's up. Oh, the Mahood wild. King. I could I mean, write a love book, like a, a, a love story, a novel, a trilogy even. On the Mood um, King. Uh, uh, can you can you write us a, a song uh, similar to a, a what haiku. the Battle Camp recently just did, but about the Mahood King? I don't, I don't what did he? That. I haven't seen this video. What he is wrote, it? He wrote. He wrote a song. It's I think it's something about like an anthem for war gamers. Um, and so he just wrote this song. Uh, so go and watch that. But give then can you give us a, give us a haiku? Give us a haiku on the Mahood King. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm really struggling with syllables here. <laughs> Ma- 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 Mahood King. Mahood Ma- 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 King is... That's two syllables. Ah, Mahood Ma- King Fierce. Mahood Ma- King Strong. No, hang on. No, that's not how, that's not how haiku goes. Isn't it 575? Five, five, yeah, it seven, but ears, five, ears is only one syllable. Mahood Ma- Ma- King is... You still have Wait, a he was saying Mahood. No. Mahood King Fierce. Mahood King Fierce. Oh, Mahood King Fierce. Yeah, Charlie, right, you're right. Mahood, Mahood King Strong. King Strong Fierce. Mahood <laughs> King Fierce. It's the best I got. <laughs> um, oh, perfect. What a All serious right. note. Come out of the he protect, <laughs> he attack, but he also courage. Um, yeah. <laughs> no. He, he, he attack, he attack, and most importantly, he attack. <laughs> he attack, yeah. Honestly. No, the Mahood dude, King is just... Train. Dude, so my traditional list runs three of these guys and Suladan. Um, okay. Just, there's something about a strength five lance just killing things. Yeah, it's just, three attacks, it's four attacks on the charge. Yeah, And strike. The only and gripe strike. I have with them is they need blood and glory. Actually, oh, that would be nice. Mate. If they were like if about, they were 30 points more and had blood of glory, I'd still pay for it. I'd say I'd say 10 points more given blood and glory because they're still fragile, but that it would fit the army so well and be so good and unique. I think them and the Spider Queen are the only models that should have blood and glory added. I think the game's fine with it where it is everywhere else. Mm-hmm. But they are they need it. They need it so good. And heroic challenge. Where's the heroic challenge, Jay? The yeah, uh, King is Definitely the model to challenge something. Uh, before that, though, just make her challenge fucking useful. Is it is fucking useful, John. It is useful on anything that isn't a hero of legend. So heroes of a lower tier, like a minor yeah. hero, for example, walks up to your captain and challenges him. What do you do? Yeah, exactly. Because if you... <laughs> this this man slaps your girl's ass. What do you do? <laughs> oh. Look, I'm bringing... I'm going to make challenge great again. I'm going to make Moomax great again. I'm on a campaign here. <laughs> <laughs> just Completely. making shit things good yeah, oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what a I'll chat. put him they, I'll put him in the right spot right yeah now. there's just I just I can't I can't stop alright the big one no. tribes master is he Tribe? in the hole is he a mole? A tier or S tier A tier oh, probably okay oh I know sorry in the hole what? sorry oh, yeah, yeah I was about to fucking say come on <laughs> I was very confused why the fuck are you yeah, no. the reason for that the reason for that is you look at him and you go, okay, well, I'm paying 20 points less. I missed out on a point of will, an attack, and a fight. Two okay, courage. So track five. Uh, oh, he's got a rogue march. That's cool. But you're taking Suladan. So you've already got yeah. March. And then he's, he's, you're losing two courage in an army that wants your heroes to charge. Correct. Yeah. Uh, it, what, like, why? Yeah. It's, it's so silly. It's silly. Fucking mob. Uh, yeah. Mob. Yeah. But the model's really cool. Yeah, it looks well. The model, right. the model is a fucking conversion. conversion. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nice. Oh, uh, God. Mahud Beastmaster. Uh, well, leader. this that's the Mimac War, war leader, leader. Sorry. Yeah. S tier. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I, I mean, <laughs> you're taking it every game. Yeah. If you, well, if you take, I, okay. If you're, you're taking not, the Mimac. You're, yeah. you're not, but. <laughs> You're just no, running so, his foot. I yeah. can't really argue with him being at least eight here. Like he's very yeah. good. If you take him, Mark, you're taking him. Yeah. Well, no, because no? you could be taking rocks and repelling lines. <laughs> um, but do both. Well, he can't. Oh, no, oh, he can't. No, you're right. You can't. You can't, you can't. Put, you can't put and that's, that's my one gripe with him is that you can't um, customize yeah. it. But it is yeah. still like. Having no, the fight just, five is awesome. A fight Having, five, my mark, with the courage, with the fucking uh, stand fast. The banner effect too, and the, the banner legion. effect. Yeah, uh, the, well, the, the legion as well gives him um, gives him fucking uh, like strike capability as well. Like the mark can strike. Yes, that's and that's unheard of. Yeah, so I believe honestly. even. 
combat with the Mumak. If you I'm can. not mistaken, yeah, the, I think is... it's only against the leaders. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you've yeah. got to fight your army leader. Yeah, but you yeah. you can so still if you contest can the charge, champions. You call the heroic <laughs> combat move again, like yeah. Riley. You'll correct me if I'm wrong, but God damn, he doesn't watch this far in. Excellent. Yeah, so, I know yeah, one does. I know they've got to they've got to be engaged with an enemy leader, uh, but yeah. still, not 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 nothing to fucking sneeze at. That's for sure. No, we got ten wounds. If if like you're not worried about dying. No. And then he falls he... off and he's still strength five. <laughs> and he's got a two-handed fucking sword. <laughs> Honestly. I love it. And Very he's good. got a own challenge. <laughs> Speaking of challenge. Oh my god. Here's, here's yeah. a question. Yeah. Th- this popped up in the noobs chat maybe a year or so ago, and I can't remember the outcome of it. Can you panic steed a mumak? It's not a steed. No, it's not a steed. But it's a mount. It's not a map. Uh, no, it's a war beast. Correct. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's the war beast. You can't. Um. Cool. Yeah, fucking easy. Done. Wow, that was good. Bye. Well, I, I no. could talk more, but I sense. No, I know. <laughs> Censoring himself. Yeah, now yeah, I've got some words. Hang on. Now we've got a couple of. Part. Yeah, where's where's the fucking where's the paragraph? Uh, two, three. <laughs> where's the four hundred word essay? Are these trade off take a banner. Yeah, the, hey. the regular lads can take a banner. Yeah, I did not know. Raiders. Silly bugger. Okay, <laughs> you silly, be- you silly goose. You silly goose. Troll. Now I own twenty of these guys, and I've never played a game with them. Wow. Why not? Because Bris Vegas comics and games took way too long to ship them to me. Six months, if I remember correctly. Ooh, gross. That's why they are closed down. Um, yeah, because they were a shithole who apparently treated their staff like shit. Yeah, they did. Yeah, I had a mate who worked there. Uh, had a terrible time. It's good. Well, if they can't ship me models either, that's no good. Yeah, yeah. right? Useless. Yeah. Um, but half trolls, fuck, I love them. They're so good. I love half trolls. I, like, I am going to go and paint 20 of them now this afternoon. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> and my new, hang on, let me get my new Mac out of the cupboard. So, <laughs> Oh, we really like. We changed this man in in, in, in an hour, two hours. <laughs> this is a changed man. I hope he it? drops that. <laughs> Just slaps his phone. No screen <laughs> protector now. <laughs> oh, true. The impact hits will do mighty damage. Um, so, I mean, here. okay, look. All right, half trolls back on track. Let's get this train. <laughs> what? Straight. You don't want this to go off track, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> We've been off track 20 times. Oh, uh, dude. Okay, you should know we're better. Our, we're making our own fucking rail at this point. There's no, there's no one, there's no near my. Just, just split it into two videos. <laughs> one video will just be Cal rants about everything <laughs> all the time ever. And then the rest of it Actually, will be the mode genuinely, of the part of our genuinely, genuinely just want to go through all these, which is going to take fucking forever, and just get little snippets of Cal just like screaming about <laughs> something. <laughs> Please. And, and then, and then, like, interchange it with, oh, I just bought another Mumak. <laughs> just, just start the video, actually, Liam, with me screaming, <laughs> The rocks! Think about the rocks! <laughs> That's the start for anything. Before your intro, oh, honestly, that, that really that, that, loud volume. Good, good engagement, actually. Yeah, Sean, you can you can do that. Yeah, let's grab that. You know, that, I'm that I'm gonna have it. some fun editing this one. It's gonna take fucking forever to find shit, but let's do it. That's all right. Yeah, okay. Short, short so the half the troll. I don't do them. <laughs> you are paying twenty three points for a Bjorning. Yeah, that's courage too. <laughs> yeah, uh, without I mean, yeah. Burley. Uh, but yeah, D six. D six the terror. Um, it's a decent, it's a decent trade-off, I, I say. Here's my issue: they should be burly. Yes. Oh yeah, for sure. No, um, they absolutely should be burly. No doubt about it. But fuck their fun. Fuck their fun. Fuck they are. <laughs> they do look fun. The pe- I've seen people play them, and they just look silly. And it's yeah. Oh man, I need to get some half. Tr- I need to paint them. Man. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna start painting them now. <laughs> I literally have just built and undercoated. 1200 points of Eastlings are sitting to my right and I don't give a fuck about them anymore. I got an emperor there and I'm like, 
nuts going to sell the stuff. I, I, I got the dice. You know, I, I was going to run them for a whole year, and now I'm looking at this fucking elephant going yummy. <sighs> He's looking at 1,200 points of fucking elephants. Oh, my God. One of, them, one of them's just a tactical fucking half-troll deploy elephant. The rest are rock elephants. So the half-trolls, I think, you can kind of run far ahead to three ways. You can either run all camels, you yeah. can run half trolls, or you can run Mumak and camels sort of mixture impact hits. And like the idea of a front line of terror causing half trolls is backed up with still strength four spears. Yeah. Pretty. Yeah. It's pretty tasty. Pretty yuck. It's pretty tasty. I, I will say that the two handing half trolls, I don't know if it's actually worth too often to get spend that a extra few point. sprinkled in. Come Why on. not? Yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd take a few because it's not replacing the um, traditional no. club, so you've got no choice. And two-handed club, stunning. Beat here. True. Strength five, two-handing, stunning. And is that a is... misclick? Beat here? Oh, yeah, I'll go away. I, I don't know. Like I, just don't think, I just don't think that the act, like two-handing half trolls are that good. The the regular half trolls, fuck you. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, that's the two-handing ones. Right, that's yeah, 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 Look, yeah, yeah, what, yeah. what's yeah, he got? Him. How many hands has he got on that club, Sean? The Three. one or two? Double gripping. Ooh, he's gripping it. He's gripping it a lot. Yeah. yeah. The two maybe. I agree. Yeah. I just, I just, I don't think you're taking too many of them, but they're good. No. They're obviously good. They're still a half troll, but I think just save a couple of points, grab, fuck yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks yeah. for that. Easy peasy. Oh, so done. What's next? Good, good uh, shit. The good shit. Muhad Banner. The banner? Mahud Banner. Um. Absolutely. Yeah, the in the hole. Oh, I don't even have a hole. Um, uh, D T is fine. Oh, oh you're nice. Oh, yeah, I spelt I spelt a hole right there. <laughs> the effort the efforts really declined on this. <laughs> 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 yeah. Welcome, well, welcome to a noobs video, Cal. Uh, What's effort? Uh, I've taken them with banners, um, and I just go. I've got silver and why have I got this? It's nice yeah. to have a second one. If you're going to take one, you're taking it on a camel anyway. So mm. that's, it's whatever. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh, They're man. useless. Now, the hood warrior with blowpipe. Big? Uh, 80. Question mark? Eight. They don't yeah. count towards your bow limit. They're poison oh. weapons. You can benefit from the betrayer. Yeah. And you can have something like 45 to 50 of them doing their shooting. Yeah. 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 Honestly, hey, look, yeah. If, if Wozes can fuck up, their opponent with blowpipes, these fuckers can do the exact same thing. So, Absolutely. and data. <laughs> I always take blowpipes on my camels, oh, and if I took foot troops, I'm sure I'd take some too. <laughs> yeah, and that's. I think that's the big thing, though, is that the Mahud warrior in general is kind of not really the best profile in Mahud. Like. Mahood, I feel like you've got really like 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 you said, you got one on two modes. With like obviously a half troll supported by fucking strength four four is very nice. But like You'd probably put Aradramoria to support him. Yeah, if if you were you know, because because Harad, like Farhad is honestly more of a Harad extra rather than yeah. a list on its own. Yeah. It's Unless like you kind of free. Yeah, exactly. Unless you I mean pure Farhad with just camels. It's pretty some, fun. Yeah, some some of us have done it. Um, some, some some people some people have done that. Uh, some people have a too fucking much money. Some people, yes. Mm. Some some people have a lot of money, and I don't <laughs> understand. Um, <laughs> Aluminium, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, I think like actually probably beat here just because the foot foot like, version. Honestly, the the issue with the list. Uh, well, with the foot warriors, right, is you look at that stat line and you go, okay, and then flick over to the Moran and Orc stat line and have a look, and yeah. you go, I'm paying more for less. Yeah, mm, absolutely. That's fair. All, all you're getting, basically, um, is access to the blowpipe. Yeah. That's what yeah. And I guess you could say the ability to essentially be fearless if your hero charges in. Yeah, yeah but I feel like I'm paying for that. Heroes, in a way. Yeah, fair. Um, oh, no, you probably yeah. are paying for on the troops, actually. No, you're right. That's probably where it is. Yeah. They get the shit baked in. They have clubs so they can stun. And for an army with no magic, 
I love stunning with the lowly Millwood warrior, you know, so it's, it's, it's good. But the blowpipe, it's not, it's something to be reckoned with. Strength two, yeah. it's not right, it's not strength six, but you can get 40 of them, man. Yeah. Put oh, no, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. Actually, okay, so no, we'll put the blowpipe up. I think the regular warrior is like C tier. I don't think you're ever not taking one of the fucking upgrades. That's for sure. In fact, let's give him, let's put him in the fucking. I don't yeah. Give a fuck. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's no longer the whole, it's the I don't give a fuck. Um, so yeah, I did. I realize I didn't fucking add in the Mahood Raider with blowpipe, but honestly, just assume they're all got them. Fuck it, just give. They me do. A- they all have it, man, and that's yeah. the thing. So the the I think you've got a king model there as the banner. Yeah, yeah that's really it's cool. also in there. Oh. I've I took one in a list with Suladan as well for that extra banner because you'll find the army sometimes has to spread out, and so it is yeah. good, and it can still do impact hits. Yeah. It's fight three anyway, so if you are rolling the dice, you're not you're not trying to roll high. You're trying no. to roll low. It's That's fast. true. So That's, I put him in yeah. the because you you still do see him. I still do see him on um, camel with a with a banner. I, I I feel like honestly at that point I'd probably take like a, a raider with banner because then you're not paying as much points. If you're already got Sully as banner, yeah. Grab a, grab a raider with banner at that Now point. Liam's like, fucking talking about allied forces. Cal- look, yeah, this, is, this is the same, this is the same <laughs> army. Harad and Farharad are the same fucking army. Like it just they don't they don't go they like Farharad doesn't go apart from Harad. That I just it it's it it really doesn't. Like I don't think it actually runs very well to like it doesn't run very well on its own, I don't think. Like that's it. I just Maybe like you. Uh, yeah, like it, it it ends up becoming less of an army when you run it on its own, and you have literally zero drawbacks by just throwing in Harad as well. Yeah. Like throw in yeah. Suladan, not a single drawback. I look, I'm I, I can't argue with any of that at all. But the way we this have been isn't doing how we do list. our tier list. <laughs> Sean, we make the rules. <laughs> we make them up on the fly. We don't give a fuck anymore. You I think, don't think you're here for consistency and for effort and for us to give a shit about anything. I don't think we've given a fuck since uh, like 2020. <laughs> Honestly. Um, oh, and to any God. children watching, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Guys, look, okay, we swear. That's just, it's it's very Australian at this point, really. Don't, if you don't fucking like swearing, don't come to us. I, I, I always get excited whenever there's a comment that comes in and says, well, you guys are swear too much. The think of the kids. No. No. I fucking <laughs> won't. I really will not. I don't want to think of the kids. I, don't, I, don't I work with kids. kids. I don't want to think about them outside of work. So, yeah. <laughs> And I don't think the kids are two hours into a Harad Far Harad tier list either. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh my god. What kid is watching what kid is watching battle reports as well? Like, oh my god. All right. Um, me. Daddy. I mean... me. <laughs> it's this child. Yeah. Oh uh, uh, yeah, Cal, Cal may look old, but he's actually twelve. That's just what Gladstone will do to you. <laughs> it's it's the pollution in the air, boys. You know, someone oh. thought I was 32 the other day. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look, yeah, I, I, I genuinely was shocked when I found out that I was older than you. I will say that. <laughs> but is it the personality or is it the looks? It's a little bit of both. It is a bit of both. Oh. It's, it's a little bit of both. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I look like How a fucking 12-year-old. Look? look at me. I'm chubby, chubby fucking... <laughs> I'm ancient. My hood camels. Oh, oh I'm back. God. Um, <laughs> man, like I'm, I'm torn between wanting to talk about them and tell people how awesome they are, but also, like, there's you just got to read Impaler once and go, hang on, and then yeah. read it again, and go, hang on, and then you read it again, and you just keep reading it, and it still doesn't get any worse. You just realize that a strength four hit, which is unavailable to most armies outside of their heroes. Yeah. When you just move into combat. Yeah. Like what? And you can do it's... it multiple times per turn. Yeah. And if they go on a roll, 
Yeah, it's like it's a throwing weapon that you can do multiple times per turn, and that that's just insane. That's strength four, double that's the odds of four. regular warrior. I just want to. There's a battle report that's yet unreleased on the Wag channel that I've I'm, I've got the footage, so I might just bastardize it and upload it myself if Jack doesn't pull his <laughs> finger out. Um, it's a 600 point game, me versus my brother, and I've got Camels versus Gil Gallard and Glorfindel. How many turns of combat do you think those two elf heroes got to roll dice for? Well, probably oh, like no. one. Combined? Two. Two, two t- combined. <laughs> oh, no. I believe oh. Gilgala died entirely to impact hits. Oh. Five wounds from impact hits and then died in combat the following turn. That's disgusting. I killed, I killed Um, And so That's- I used horse. Because you hit the mount and the rider. So you roll yeah. two dice. I want to keep my horse alive so I'm actually able to fight. So he's burning his fate to keep Asclath alive and taking wounds at defense seven. It's still sixes, only for it to Asclath to die and then Glorfindel to be on the ground and have to shield. Okay. And then the next turn comes and he rolls a four high and he dies. Oh my God. I want to Gil see Gallad- that bat rep. Jeff. Gil Gallad- roll dice from the bat rat. No, God, didn't roll dice. And that's you oh know, my God. Like those are two scary elf heroes. Fight seven and nine. I was like, what's heroic strike? I just got camels, man. <laughs> release, the bat now, Jeff. release the bat rep now, Release the bat rep. Yeah, it, release the Snyder cut. They are probably one of my favorite warrior model profiles in the game. They just you you got the song Pinball Wizard playing in your head while you. <laughs> Um, because another cool oh. trick you do with them because of how they work the sequence is the you know you charge a non-terror causing model and now you're in six inches of your leader okay i've killed this guy well now i'm fearless now i charge the terror causing model yeah absolutely and it's just fucking courage too never heard of it fucking hell yeah you just, I, shit they were, I lost a few games because they ran away which is why i now take some serpent riders and stuff in my lists but That's for sure Oh, I just yeah. Look, fair. Well, I, 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 after that, I, I will though. say, I will Let's say, go. obviously, courage three, uh, fight three. I mean, oh, let's fucking put him there anyway. Yeah, um, <laughs> fight fight three is definitely like a huge downside of the whole mode list. Like you're paying seventeen points for fight three. You really you are paying obviously seventeen points for impaler, but. Like once they've once they've charged and not killed, you're like, all right, uh, I'm in a bit of trouble. Um, no, no, you're not. I because you surely are. Remember what I said about you're not hoping for your opponent to. Uh, you're not hoping to roll high. You're hoping your opponent rolls low. Mm. I mean, yes. Right. So what happens <laughs> just when they roll, roll good? When they roll low, and you just get that. But, okay, fight three. Say say you win forty percent of fights. Right, that's a kill every time. Yeah, for sure. That's and like that's, it's yeah. If the war, fight, the war spear, the strength for if the four they were, they'd be fucking stupid. They already are stupid. They'd be they ridiculous. <laughs> so I'm glad they fight three. And your opponent stands a chance at that point. <laughs> Sometimes yeah, like, so much fun, and they are so good. And the fight three is there to keep people sane. <laughs> Fair. Um, because well, remember, Gil Gallard didn't even roll any <laughs> dice. He just died. Oh my god! It's beautiful. Oh he's my god! He's five nine. He died to a camel. <laughs> One humpy boy. Oh my god! <laughs> One humpy boy versus. Millennial. A thousand, a thousand year old, a mil, yeah, millennia year old Elven King versus one humpy boy. <laughs> He's gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, anywho, holy shit! All right, so it feels like a bit of thousand years since we've even looked at the Harad Heroes one. So let's go, let's go for a little, let's go for a little trip down memory lane. <laughs> what happened here again? I can't little, little gander. Um, oh, right. yeah, let's, this... let's... <laughs> we did these. What? <laughs> we when did we do these? Cal changed yeah, fucking like, shirts in between us doing all of this. Yeah. I've uh, ordered this over a week. 
Sean was still in the same position there. Oh. Yeah, I'm stuck. Perpetually <laughs> stuck. stuck. Um, stepsister, I'm stuck. Stepsister, help. Was it some of the t- time machine, time traveler moves a rock? Stepsister, I'm stuck. <laughs> Fancy oh. a stepsister. <laughs> oh my god! What's the defense of his stepsister? Nine hits. What's the defense is it? Uh, ten. She's it's got ten. nothing on. Defense two. Oh my god! I got three wounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my> god. <laughs> Oh, my oh. stepsister doesn't have any faith. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> God doesn't have any oh. faith in her. Um, oh. um, fucking, yeah. So, I think I've never made it this far into a tier list. What do we do now? Uh, let's have a quick look. Have a look see. Have, we'll have a little look see. This was good. It was how good. how'd we do here? That's all right. Phenomenal. Next. Wow. I Hang on. That got... watcher kind of with bow needs to drop a step. <laughs> what oh, are you what doing? The fuck? What are you doing? You've ruined the whole team. All right. Anyway, a um... man of chaos. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, king hey. in the hole. Oh. Yeah. So. <laughs> the mole. Thank you very much. <laughs> all right. Well. Well, thanks for Woo. watching, everyone. Um... Uh, if you made it all the way through, thank no you. No one made it. <laughs> no one made it. <laughs> everyone left within the first lost thirty all seconds. All of our audience. This is just us three just having a fucking laugh what at each other. Fucking... That's it. What have you I done? I don't know what I did here, but anyway, that's 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 how I feel right now. Yeah, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm hungry. I want to go to the toilet. Is that I've got to paint some shit for Jarek. Let's get no, this done. Dr- Who's this? Get rid of him. It's a dr- Yeah, well, I've got to, this is some of the Eastlings I've got to throw out. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, fair. Give I'll them to them. me for free. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Robert broke both of his sword and his tail. Hell yeah! All right, all right. Thanks, everyone. Uh, um, Sean, Sean has to eat. You. I'm gonna die. I, I can go to work in like an hour. I don't know how I'm gonna. I feel I'm exhausted. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exhausted. Yeah. Holy shit. Um, all right, some shit to paint. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna Cal, fucking. I'm gonna finish some trolls. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to get the half trials from dad's place. <laughs> no, Cal's, going, <laughs> Cal's just going to sit at his front door waiting for his three fucking boomups to show up. <laughs> That'd be silly. Yeah, come on. He only got two. Only he two. has three total. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh All right, ladies God. and gentlemen. Fuck Bye. off. Uh, go oh. check out Cal's stuff in the description oh. somewhere. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Pre- on Instagram, join now and receive an exclusive deal of benefit. Introducing a new army range where we get your army to you in six weeks or your money back. He'll give uh, you a blowjob job, is what he's trying to tell you. Yeah. I mean, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. <laughs> Actually, I've, already, I've already done a couple this morning. So <laughs> <laughs> That's how we got him on here. So, uh... <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye forever. I'm never coming back. Help me.